Good morning children. By the last video, the exercise questions in the chapter triangles are over but you have only very few geometry lessons this year. So the worked out examples in this lessons is also very important. So today's class will be the worked out examples as mentioned. There are applications on basic proportionality theorem. The second exercise criteria for similarity, area theorem and Pythagoras theorem. And all these worked out examples are very important. That is why I thought of doing it today. The first worked out example, page 126 and 127. Examples 1, 2, 3 are based on basic proportionality theorem. By reading the question, I will draw the figure as well as only the proof. You can refer it from the textbook. I will explain the proof. If a line intersects the sides AB and AC of a triangle ABC at D and F, the figure is given to you at D and F and is parallel to BC. That means it is given that DE is parallel to BC. Prove that AD by AB is equal to AE by AC. This actually we defined or I explained already as a corollary but how to work out. Now the proof is in triangle ABC since DE is parallel to BC, by basic proportionality theorem, AD by DB is equal to AE by AC. And the denominator of the two proof path is AB and AC. AB is made up of AD and DB. That means you have to add AD plus DB to get the concerned result of AB. So just take the reciprocal of BD by AD is equal to AC by AD, AE. Add 1 on both sides and take LCM which shows that AD plus DB by AD is the same as EC plus AE by AE or AD plus DB is giving you AB by AD is the same as EC plus AE is giving you AC by AE. And again, you can take the reciprocal. Therefore, AD by AB is equal to AE by AC. The second worked out example is ABCD is a trapezium. ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel to DC. AB parallel to DC. E and F are points on non-parallel sides AD and BC. They are simply points on E and F are two points on the non-parallel sides such that EF is parallel to AB. That means the line EF is also parallel to AB, show that AE by AD, what is to prove is AE by AD is equal to BF by FC. BF by FC. And by the statement of basic proportionality theorem, you know that basic proportionality theorem is only for triangles. How can you divide this trapezium into triangle is join one of the diagonals. If you join diagonal BD, it will meet EF at the point O and then you can get two triangles as DAB and DCB and you can apply basic proportionality theorem. So construction is Join BD to meet EF 
at O. Now which are the two triangles? The proof starts as in triangle D A B. In triangle D A B E O parallel to A B. E O parallel to A B. How do you need the side? A E by A D. So A E by A D is equal to B O by D O. A E by E D is equal to B O by D O. Basic proportionality theorem and equation number 1. Similarly, the triangle D B C. In triangle D B C O F parallel to D C. Therefore, the side will be, you want to take this as a common. So, B O by O D is equal to B F by F C. Equation number 2. A E by A D is equal to B O by O D. B O by O D is B F by F C. Therefore, from 1 and 2, A E by E D is equal to B F by F C. A E by E D is equal to B F by F C. These are all two mark questions. Example 3. In the figure, PS by SQ. PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. It's already given that at angle PST, PST, angle 1, is equal to angle PRQ, angle 2. What we have to prove is triangle PQR is isosceles. What is to prove is Triangle PQR is isosceles. What is the condition by which two tri one, a triangle is isosceles is the base angles are equal. What is the base angle of triangle PQR? Angle Q and angle R. Angle R is already given as 2. So we have to prove that angle 2 and angle 3 are equal. Already 1 and 2 are equal. So we are checking any terms of getting 1 and 3 are equal. For that purpose, they have given this proportional signs. So, proof starts as in triangle PQR, PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR given. It's already a given result. Immediately by the converse of basic proportionality, Theorem, we can say that ST is parallel to QR by converse of BPT. That is, these two lines are parallel. When two lines are parallel, what happens to angle 1 and angle 3? They are a pair of corresponding angles which are equal. Therefore, angle 1 is equal to angle 3 corresponding angles. Mark it as equation number 1. But angle 1 is equal to angle 2 already given in the statement. 1 and 3 are equal. 1 and 2 are equal which shows that 2 and 3 are equal. From 1 and 2, from equations 1 and 2, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Therefore, Triangle PQR is isosceles. The reason is base angles are equal. Base angles are equal, therefore the triangles are, therefore the triangle is a isosceles triangle. The next worked out examples from the concept of criteria for proving the similarity of triangles, that is page number. 135 and 36, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 5 questions. All of them are very small questions or a very small application. It's very easy. Question number 4. If PQ parallel RS, if PQ is parallel to RS, prove that triangle POQ similar to triangle SOR. Triangle P-O-Q, similar to triangle S-O-R. 
Since the lines are parallel, angle 1 is equal to angle 2, alternate interior angles. And angle 3 is equal to angle 4, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, triangle POQ, similar to triangle SOR by AA similarity. For the exam, you write the given to prove and prove with all the reasons. Question number 5. Observe the given dimensions in the figure and find angle P. A is given as 80, 60. If A is 60, B 80, 60. Okay. So now... AB length is 3.8 and RQ, QR length is 7.6. So, ratio of AB by QR is 3.8 by 7.6 is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, BC by, BC by PQ is equal to 6 by 12 is again 1 by 2. AC by AC by RP is equal to 3 root 3 by 6 root 3 which is the same as 1 by 2. Therefore, the triangles are similar by SSS because the ratios are equal. From 1, 2 and 3, triangles are similar. How do you read the triangle? A, B, C. Therefore, triangle A, B, C similar to A, B corresponds with Q, R, P. Check whether R, P is correct. R, P with A, C. That means we may have to read it as it's corresponding with A, C. So, A, B, C. A, B, C corresponds with R, Q, P. Triangle R, Q, P. Because A, B corresponds with R, Q. BC corresponds with QP and AC corresponds with RP. So the triangle naming is ABC similar to RQP. That means if angle A is 80, angle R is 80. Angle B is 60 means angle Q is 60. By angle sum property, 80 plus 60 is 140. So angle C is 40. Angle P is also 40. Therefore, angle C is equal to 180 minus 80 plus 60 is equal to 180 minus 140 is equal to 40. Therefore, angle P is also 40 degree by corresponding angles of or equal angles of similar triangles. Here you can write triangles are similar by SSS criteria. The next question is, in the figure OA into OB, OA, it is given that OA into OB is equal to OC into OD. What you have to prove is, Angle A equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. That means you have to prove the two triangles are similar with the given condition. OA into OB. To prove similarity by SAS, we need the ratio. So arrange this product as a ratio. That is OA by, take a ratio from here OC. Automatically along with OA, OB and it is OD so that the product is not affected. It is just a rearrangement that is OA by OC is equal to OD by OB and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 vertically opposite angles. Therefore, triangle OAD or you can write it as AOD 
similar to C here A O D similar to C O B C O B by S A S therefore angle A is equal to angle C and angle D is equal to angle B equal angles of similar triangles. Once the triangles are similar, the remaining angles becoming equal is called the equal angles of similar triangles. Page 136, example 7. A girl of height 90 centimeter is walking away from the base of a lamp post at a speed of 1.2 meter per second. Speed of 1.2 meter per second. Second and the height of the girl is given as 90 centimeter. If the lamp post is 3.6 meter, that means height of the lamp post is 3.6 meter. Since all the measures are in meter, let's represent this as 0 0.9 meter. Find the length of a shadow after 4 seconds. So here, let AB represents the lamp post of height 3.6 meter and the girl has started moving from here and height of the let CD represents the position after 4 after 4 seconds then let AB represents lamp post, CD represents the position of girl after 4 seconds. That is, she, the distance AC is the distance she has covered at a speed of 1.2 meter per second. That means she is walking at a speed of, speed is equal to 1.2 meter per second means in one second the girl covered 1.2 meter. Therefore in 4 seconds 1.2 into 4 which is equal to 4.8 meter she has covered. That means the distance AC is 4.8 meter. Height of the girl is given as 0 0.9 meter. And now, find the length of her shadow. That means when the shadow of any object Now see, if you complete the triangle, the shadow of the girl CD will be this part CE. CE represents the girl's shadow and AE represents the lamp post shadow. AE represents the shadow of the lamp post. So you got the length of the lamp post is 3.6 0 0.9. You have the length of AC as 4.8 meter. Let us see that this is, let the girl's shadow be length is x. You can prove the triangles ECD similar to EAB by AA similarity because angle E is angle common and always the perpendicular. It will be always perpendicular and angle will be 90 degree. So, in triangle ECD and EAB, angle E is equal to angle E common. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, triangle ECD similar to triangle EAB by AA similarity. The proportional sides EC by EA is equal to CD by AB. EC length we have taken as X. EA is 4.8 plus X. 
is equal to CD length is 0 0.9 by AB length is 3.6 which is equal to 1 by 4 because equal number of decimal place 9 by 36 which is the same as 1 by 4. By cross multiplication 4x is equal to 4.8 plus x. 4x minus x. 3x is equal to 4.8 or x is equal to 1.6 meter. That is the shadow length will be 1.6 meter from her foot. The foot of the girl will be at the point C. Shadow length will be 1.6 meter. Worked out example 8 in page 136 is the same question as in the exercise. Refer the exercise question and do it on your own. Based on area theorem, page 143, question number 9. It's a very important three mark question based on area theorem. In the figure, the line segment XY is parallel to the side AC of a triangle ABC. That means triangle ABC. The line segment XY is parallel to AC. And such that it is dividing the triangle into two parts of equal area. It is given that XY parallel to AC. At the same time, area of triangle BXY is equal to area of, it's a trapezium because one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Area of trapezium XYCA. And what is to find is ratio of AX by AB. You have to get what's the ratio of AX by AB. Now, area theorem also for the triangles as well as we have to prove the triangle concerned as similar. So, here the given condition is area of triangle BXY is equal to area of trapezium XYCA. That means trapezium XYCA has to be made into the triangle ABC. The only possibility is by adding area BXY to it. And in class 9, you have learned that equal areas can be added to both sides of an equation. That is, the proof starts as area of triangle BXY is equal to area of trapezium XYZA. Adding area of triangle BXY to both sides. Area of triangle BXY plus area of triangle BXY is equal to area of trapezium XYCA plus area of triangle BXY. The left hand side 2 times area of triangle BXY is equal to area of trapezium plus area of triangle less area of triangle ABC. That is, area of triangle BXY divided by, I'll write it as BAC. Area of triangle BAC is equal to, it is 1 by 2, equation number 1. So that just arrangement we made it as, to apply area theorem. Now, before applying area theorem, we should prove the triangles are similar. How do you prove the triangles are similar? In triangles BXY, BXY and BAC, angle B is equal to angle B common and angle BXY. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 corresponding angles. Therefore, which is the line parallel, XY parallel to AC. Therefore, triangle PXY 
similar to triangle BAC by AA triangle. Once you prove the triangles are similar, you can apply area theorem. That is, area of triangle BXY by area of triangle BAC is equal to the square of any proportional sides. Let us take it as BX square by BA square. Bx the whole square by Ba square. What is area of triangle Bxy by Bac? It is 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2 is equal to Bx square by Ba square from equation 1. Or what will be it Bx by Ab? It is 1 by root 2. The question is to get Ax by Ab. Now, Bx has to be replaced as AB minus Ax to get the result. Bx can be replaced as AB minus Ax by AB is equal to 1 by root 2. Cross multiply and rearrange to get the required answer. That is root 2 AB minus root 2 Ax is equal to AB or root 2 AB minus 1 AB, you are bringing AB to this side, it is root 2 AX, AB as common, AB into root 2 minus 1 is equal to root 2 AX or AX by AB is the same as along with AB root 2 minus 1. So that is root 2 minus 1 by root 2. This can be asked as a 3 mark or a Direct 4 mark question. Questions are worked out example based on Pythagoras theorem. Page 147, question number 10, 12 and 13. 11th is simple, that is why I have not uh, picked it up. As well as 14 also. Very easy, you can just compare the equal parts and prove the given statement correctly. Question number 10. It says that, in the figure, angle ACB is equal to 90 degree. Angle ACB is 90 degree. CD is perpendicular to AB. What is to prove is BC square by AC square. AC square is equal to BD by AD. If you remember the explanation of the important theorem I have explained before Pythagoras theorem. If a perpendicular is drawn, through the right angle of a right triangle. The triangles on either side of the perpendicular are similar to each other and to the whole triangle. And the easy part of proving, you will be getting this angle will be equal to the far away angle here. This angle will be corresponding with this angle. This will be the proof for proving the two small triangles similar. But here, since the measure of BC square and AC square is required, we have to prove same like the theorem as triangle ADC similar, similar to triangle ACB and triangle DBC similar to BDC similar to BCA. In triangle ADC and ACB, I always tell you, take the common angle in the beginning. Angle A equal to angle A common angle 1 is equal to angle C is equal to 90 degree therefore triangle ADC similar to triangle ACB by AA similarity proportional sides AD by AC is equal to AC by AB take only the required quantity or AC square is equal to AD into AB Similarly, how do you prove similarly? Triangle BDC similar to triangle BCA by AA similarity. Proportional sides BD by BC is equal to BC by BA. Or BC square is equal to BD into BA. Equation number 2. Here one place you can mention proportional sides of 
similar triangles. Now they wanted the ratio BC square by AC square. BC square by AC square is the same as BD into AB by AD into AB. AB is getting cancelled or the ratio of BD by AD. The next question is, it's a very important question, question number 12. In triangle, in the given figure, if AD perpendicular to BC, AD is perpendicular to BC, prove that AB square plus CD square is equal to BD square plus AC square. BD square plus AC square. For such questions, check what is AB square and CD square from the concerned right triangles. Write the measure and add the left sides and add the right sides. AB square is in triangle ADB. In triangle ADB, AB square is equal to, AB square is the hypotenuse opposite to right angle. AD square plus BD square equation number 1. Again, CD square in triangle ADC, CD square is not a hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is AC. So CD square is AC square minus AD square. Equation number 2 and both by Pythagoras theorem. Add the left sides, add the right sides. That is AB square plus CD square is given as AD square plus BD square plus AC square minus AD square positive AD square and negative which will give you the right hand side answer directly. Such problems are very important as it's a direct application of Pythagoras theorem. Page 148, example 13. The most important worked out example in this lesson. BL and CM are medians of a triangle ABC, right angle that A. Triangle, right angle that A. BL and the CM are the medians. Medians means the midpoint of, it will join to the midpoint. Prove that 4 times BL square, what is to prove is, 4 times BL square plus CM square is the same as 5 times BC square. And now since angle A is 90 degree, we can start with the right triangles where BL square is a side and CM square is also a side in another triangle. So the proof starts as BL square is in triangle BAL. In triangle BAL, the hypotenuse square, BL square is equal to AL square plus AB square by Pythagoras theorem. But L is a midpoint. How can you represent AL as half of AC? That is, BL square is Half AC the whole square plus AB square which is the same as AC square by 4 plus AB square or by LCM AC square plus 4 AB square by 4 or by cross multiplication 4 BL square is equal to AC square plus 4 AB square mark it as Equation number 1. Similarly, proceed for CM. So, the triangle is triangle CAM. In triangle CAM, CM square is equal to AC square plus AM square. AM square can be replaced as half AB, the whole square. Half 
AB the whole square since M is the midpoint or you can mention here as since BL is a median both ways you can write which is equal to AC square plus AB square by 4 LCM of 4AC square plus AB square by 4 by cross multiplication 4CM square is equal to 4AC square plus AB square equation number 2. The left hand side is addition of these two measures that is 4BL square plus 4CM square is equal to AC square plus 4AB square plus 4AC square plus AB square common 4 times BL square plus CM square is the same as AB square plus 4AC square is 5AC square 4AB square plus 1AB square is 5AB square 5 times AC square plus AB square or in triangle BAC what is AB square plus AC square that is 5 times BC square. This question is very important and many a times we have seen the measure of BL and CM will be given and you have to get the length of BC. The same proof has to be done and then substitute the value of BL and CM. Now the remaining word problem number 14 is very simple. You can just compare the equal sides because it's a rectangle given to you. By this the lesson similar triangles is over and uh, I hope you understood all the proofs very well. It's a request from my side that you must write and learn all the proof. I have already mentioned the type of questions or the section in which each question will be asked as a 2 mark question, 3 mark question or 4 mark question. But theorem, all the 4 theorems need to be compulsorily studied before any exam because one theorem is sure question which you can earn 4 marks by just understanding and proving it.